Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating a bootable USB drive for installing Windows 11 on older laptops or PCs that do not support TPM, the trusted platform module and secure boot requirements. Before we begin, make sure you have the following a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of storage capacity a Windows 11 ISO file downloaded from a trusted source like Microsoft official website access to a Windows computer to create the bootable USB drive let's get started now open any web browser and then search here for Rufus tool which is important to make a bootable flash drive once you search Rufus on the top you will find the website just open it and scroll down you will find here the different versions choose the latest version 4.5 which is around 1.4 mb and then open it now do you want to allow rufus to check for application updates online of course not because we are installing a new operating system in our pc so once you are here now click on the device and if you are using more than one usb you will see here the list right now i'm using only one usb drive so by default it's already selected over here you can choose it and then click on select now we need iso i have already downloaded the iso file but let me show you how to download it from the official website from microsoft website so we need a browser and then you need to search here for microsoft windows 11 iso now click on the first link from uh, Microsoft website. Once you open this, you will see here the three options. The number one, Windows 11 installation assistant. This is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device you are currently using. Like you are using Windows 10 and you can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 by using this Windows 11 installation assistant. And... Uh, if you click on the before you begin using installation assistant you will see all the requirements for your upgradation like you need windows 10 at least and then the setup tool which is a media creation tool you can also choose this one option but uh, i guess uh, windows iso is the best option because you can save the iso file and uh, rufus is i guess more, more faster than this one maybe i'm wrong but in my case uh, mostly I use Rufus tool now choose here the Windows 11 and then you can also read the requirement of Windows 11 at least you need the 64 uh, bit CPU which is uh, more important and you can check the requirement and if you don't know you can check it out to see if your PC has one go to the setting and then system and then about click on the Windows icon uh, then go into the settings you can find it into the system settings and then scroll down a bit you will find here the about then you will find here the system type which is 64 bit operating system which is my windows and then x64 based processor which is my cpu all right now scroll down and click on the download now validating your request this may take several minutes it's okay now select the product language the highly recommended is the english united states which is the international one click on this download button and it's around 6.34 GB just choose the destination and then click on save click on the start download it will start downloading now as I said I have already downloaded this file click on the select option and then find the ISO file that you just downloaded so this is the latest versions uh, latest ISO file now the partition type if your PC support GPT then choose here the GPT but we are making this flash drive for older CPUs so you need to choose here the MBR if your PC doesn't support the UEFI so in my case my PC is for GPT so I'm going with GPT but you can go with the MBR and then click on start now there's uh, almost two four five six six options so the first one remove requirement for 4 GB plus RAM and scare boot and TPM 2.0 if you have 4 GB RAM then you can choose the first option just disable four options first two and the last two options and then click on ok that's it that's the simple process guys you can just 
click on ok and uh, you will see here the warning options all data on device will be destroyed so if you have anything in your usb drive you can make a backup and then click on ok it will start uh, making a bootable usb pen drive now in the next video guys i will show you how to optimize your windows 11 for gaming purpose and install the drivers exactly what uh, you need so that's it you have successfully created a bootable usb drive for installing windows 11 on older laptops or pc that do not support tpm and secure boot if you have any question or encountered issue feel free to leave a comment below thank you for watching have a good day bye bye